but just like <laughs> did the way you know hi hoochies and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see today is a full get ready with me with the short natural okay yes I did a full get ready with me showing you guys how I styled my natural hair, um, the makeup, all of that. Uh, I got a lot of requests to show my natural hair more. Like you guys love my hair short. Like you guys love it. And um, in the video, I kind of talk about um, kind of how I feel about my hair and you'll hear more about it. I don't want to spoil it now, but yeah. So I decided I was going to do this video and just kind of show you guys like the ways that I make myself feel sexy and confident with my short hair because it is something I'm not battling. That sounds so dramatic, but um, it is something that if, if able, I would much rather have hair on my head. You know what I mean? But I'm working on like liking my short hair more because it's mine and it's here and it is what it is. So uh, if you guys want to see how I got this look, the makeup, and the hair and the outfits, then yeah, just keep watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you keep going. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff, and enjoy the video. So this is my hair. I washed it this morning, conditioned it, um, but I kind of relaxed. I went on a four mile run this morning, so I was exhausted. It's actually in the afternoon, it's in the afternoon now, but um, yeah, so my hair's dried out. Um, it's not wet anymore, so I have to wet my hair. So as you guys can see, my hair has grown a lot. Um, I really wanted to do this video because with my short hair because for one everyone wants to see it and for two I um, When I first cut my hair, I was like super good about my hair Like I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm a bad bitch But then like as time has gone on I am NOT as confident just to be completely transparent I am NOT as confident with my short hair it I think what it really is is it just doesn't make me feel feminine and I feel like I have such strong features naturally um, and by strong I mean borderline masculine I have a very structured face and um, so I feel like the short hair almost makes me look like a boy and it just makes me uncomfortable but um, you know I'm getting better with it so I figured this would be the perfect way and so yeah so I don't have a spray bottle but I've got some water next to me so I'm just gonna put some water in my hair because I need to wet it and re-moisten my hair um, for this to work so I'm just putting water all in my hair I'm just kind of dampening it I'm not making it super duper wet so this should be good if you have a spray bottle please use it I'm a new natural girl so I need to go get a spray bottle but yeah <laughs> so I start with a leave-in conditioner I use the pattern leave-in conditioner looks like this put about that much in my hand and I just massage it all through my hair. I put a lot of leave-ins and oils and things like that just because right now I don't really style it any kind of way other than just being slicked down and um, or it's under a wig. So it's okay for it to be super greasy to me because it doesn't matter. Um, and I feel like it helps it, you know, get its nutrients because while my hair might be very thin, or um, very fine, so it gets weighed down very easy with product. It's also very dry, in my opinion. Like, it's thirsty. Next, I take these Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops. Y'all, I don't really, can't trace if they're really making my hair grow, but they made my eyebrows grow. So I put this in the super fine areas of my edges. And I truly do believe it's helping, at least with some sort of growth but it might just be a placebo effect but girl i'm gonna keep using it so oops now is when i go in with my oils after my leave-in and i kind of put this all over my head too but i really focus it on my um on my edges next i'm gonna take another oil <laughs> usually i don't like to use the wild growth oil during the day because i don't like the smell of it like if i'm gonna wear my my natural hair out i don't like to use this but um, I ran out of my other oils, so this is the only one that I have. So I just put a crap, like I'm not even gonna flex it y'all. I put a lot. Cool, boom. So once the oil is in, um, now I kind of just move on to styling. <laughs> so I'm gonna start, well, I'm, also, I'm gonna take this Style and Shine Mousse. This is from um, Cream of Nature. I'm gonna just put like three pumps in my hand and then just put it all over and this kind of just helps my hair I feel like mold into like how I like to 
how I've been styling it. This is the only way I know how to do it. Everyone wants me to do finger waves. When we are out of lockdown and it's safe to go outside, I will go get my hair done in finger waves just for y'all because it is long enough now, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just slicking it down. I know it looks crazy right now. Trust me, it'll look really cute when we're done. Well, you know, as cute as I can make it look. So yeah. You guys see my hair so, it's getting so long. I don't want to say it's long because it's not long, but you know. To say that I literally shaved my head, like I'm talking buzz cut, shaved my head three months ago, this is a lot of hair growth if you ask me. All right, so I'm just gonna, um, I'm kind of like doing it, like shaping it like this, if you will. Like I like to kind of add like swirlies and almost like I got edges, but I don't. And then, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do right now. Is just shape the hair and make it look feminine. Like to me, the little swirlies and the curlies, that all just makes me look really cutesy to me. So I try to focus a lot doing that. And I just kind of play with the hair and just make it do kind of what I want it to do in different directions like that. And I just be like, that is so cute to me. Like so fucking cute. I'm giving auntie, rich auntie vibes. Um, so yeah, I just kind of like play with it and let it do its own thing and it'll change too. Like once it's set, I have to like change it. Um, you guys will see it's not going to stay like this. Now this front part is so difficult for me because it's a little like overgrown right here. And I don't like to put gels in my hair right now because I just feel like it's no point. I don't feel like drying out my hair and my hair doesn't really need it. My texture is... It lays pretty okay on its own, so I don't see the need to like cake up gels in my hair, and they typically dry my hair out. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's probably some that don't, that are obviously not alcohol-based, etc. but yeah. So I'm just using an edge brush at this point and just kind of playing with the edges of my hair, basically. Now this side, I'm like not good at doing at all. It doesn't turn out as good as the other side ever, and I don't know why, but it's okay because this is my good side of my face anyways, so it's not a big deal. And obviously use what products are better for your texture. Um, and I know you're probably like, Leah, this shit is like slick, slick down your head, but it's not gonna stay like this. Um, this is just how I do it for now. I'm gonna take my wave brush, my men's <laughs> wave brush, and just, you know, brush this down. I need to, I want to get like a sponge and like make it like curly, but I just haven't been to the store to get one yet. Um, okay, so you see what I'm saying? Like this area is like weird for me. Like I don't know what to do right here. So I just kind of like play with it and I kind of just end up like leaving it alone, but this is what we're working with. So this is it, this is all I do. And then I just get to take a little bit more foam and I just pump it all over. <laughs> And I just kind of like push it on, including on my little swoopity swoops. Basically just all over my head. And then um, normally I would take a blow dryer and do this, but since I have to do my makeup, I can just um, let it sit and um, it'll dry probably in about, by the time we're done, it should be dry. If not, I'll bring my blow dryer and um, blow dry it. So then what I do is I take my scarf and I just tie my hair back up. And this is just gonna like literally flatten the fuck out of your hair um, if you want it to be super duper flat. But I'm gonna show y'all what I do when I take the scarf off to give it a little bit of not the like slip down to your head look. You'll see. So yeah, I just take my scarf and I tie it A to keep all that just like in there and cooking. And then just so I like, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But just know I tie my scarf. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing to my hair. Um. And you guys will see the end product is so cute. But like, look at my little edges. Like, it's cute. It's like, I be feeling cute, but then I be like, great, ugly. But I be feeling so cute. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so now we can move on to makeup. When I have my hair short, I battle between, well not battle, but I have to find a nice medium of not too much makeup, but just enough makeup. Because too much makeup, like I said, I have very structured, I have a very structured face, um, very like masculine features in a sense. Um, so if I put on too much makeup, it overemphasizes them. And with the shortcut, it is just too much. Um, for me personally, you do whatever makes you feel good. So I have to find a nice balance between soft yet structured, you know? So, um, I'm going to kind of show you guys how I've been 
creating that which to some it's gonna be a boring makeup look i know but with this cut i just it's just my comfort zone okay just let me let me rock all right so i'm gonna start with my brows and i'm probably gonna speed this part up because you guys have seen me do my brows a million bajillion times although they are laminated again i did it myself <laughs> they turn out pretty good if i do say so myself i'm just using a little bit of a brow gel this is the benefit one all of the products that i'm using will be linked down below including the hair products um, it is affiliate links, so just keep that in mind if you don't want me to make any money from you shopping the products that I recommend it to you. Y'all cut that little hint of shade. No, I'm just kidding. But for real, if you don't want me to make any money, don't click the link because it's a tracking link. So what'll happen is it'll put cookies, and then whenever you go back to shop, it'll still give me credit. So if you literally do not want me to make any money, just um, search the name of the product in your search bar and then purchase that way. Don't click any links from down below, um, and you'll be good. So I'm using a concealer for my brows and lids, which is gonna be the Hourglass Concealer um, in the shade Dune. I'm gonna put some on my hand. And then I'm using a MAC 212 brush to carve out my brow. So I'm gonna um, hold a mirror up to my face so that I can see, because I can't see with my mirror so far away. So can you guys see me? I'm gonna do like this. So once I have them carved, now we can go ahead and fill in. I'm going to be going back to my BH Cosmetics Brow Duos. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to fill in the brow. This is the shade Dark Brown, and these are so affordable, so cheap. You can get them at Ulta or online at the BH Cosmetics website. Um, I used to have an affiliate link with them, but they stopped doing that, like affiliate codes. Um, so I don't have a discount code anymore, but I think they're coming back. So I will keep you guys updated. This is just too thick. Like I know I'm trying to have the straighter brow, but it's just too thick. I can't do it. All right. So brows are done. They're like completely different, but whatever. So we're just going to take some of that concealer and set or primer our lids for eyeshadow. And you guys know I am going to go ahead and set that down. I'm not really a wet um, primer kind of girl so just taking a little bit of translucent powder and just setting this area all down I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette today this is her new one from Morphe volume 2 I literally still have yet to touch this um, so I'm gonna use it today because why not um, so yeah we're gonna do something soft but pretty but you know a little different than what I usually do. So I'm gonna take an Anastasia Beverly Hills A10 brush. I'm gonna clean it off. Yes, I have so many clean brushes, but I choose to use the dirtier ones just till they are no longer usable. So I'm gonna go into Perfectionist, which is kind of like a pinky toned, um, like brow color or what? Transition color, yeah. And I'm just gonna buff it into my crease. So you guys see that going right there? The color payoff, not too pigmented to where it's like, whoa. And I'm sure if you use a wet base, it'll show up even more. And kind of going like up. Like, can you guys see how I'm doing that like that? Yeah. My descriptors are so off. It's like, kind of like that. Like, you guys see like like that? Like, uh-huh. And everyone's like, uh, I fucking guess. <laughs> so I have that crease color going. Um, started. Then I'm gonna go into the shade. I really wanna go into G Money. But the tone is like not the same. I'm gonna go into it anyways. I'm going into this color right here, G Money. It's definitely much more brown, not as um, like pink toned, but I kind of like that. Excuse me, Woo. same brush, by the way. Hmm. It's not as dark as I thought it would be. Like I'm trying to build it, but it's definitely not as like rich. Is that the word that I want to use as I thought it would be? Not in a bad way, but just a little, not as much as I was expecting. But I'm really focusing that like right here in the outer part of my eye, like my crease. Um, I like to take a clean brush. This is a Morphe M504 and I'm just kind of going over the edges just a little bit. And I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and we're gonna cut our crease ever so slightly. <laughs> so to cut my crease, I'm gonna use a Morphe M124 brush. It's a look like this. I'm gonna just layer it up in concealer real good. 
so it's nice and flat. And then I'm gonna hold a mirror up close because I wanna make sure that I do this the right way. Um, and then I'm just gonna kinda cut. It's a little higher than I would have liked, but that's okay, that's okay. I'm going to take a smaller brush into the darker color G Money. And I'm just going to start to blend this edge, but in a different kind of a shape, like in the same shape that we were doing, like in that going like that kind of a way, if that makes any sense. Then I'm gonna take a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade. Oh, I think I want Ride or Diamonds, but Get Ready With Me looks so pretty. Oh no, that's way too, yeah. No, definitely Ride or Diamonds. So I'm gonna go into that color. I hope you guys seen that. I didn't even look at my viewfinder to see if you could see what I was showing you. But yeah, Ryder Diamonds. And I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. Oh, that is so pretty. Then I'm gonna take the brush and just blend those edges some more. So, and just look at how pretty. I like it. And I like the shape that we created for the for the shadow, like this like, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then we, okay, so I kind of messed up on this eye as you guys can see, but just like, <laughs> just the way you don't mind, okay? I swear I did the same thing and it just did not, it didn't do it, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to finishing up the eyes. I'm just gonna do a very thin line of liner across the top. I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Liner. I'm gonna lean in close and I'm just gonna do a very thin line because I am gonna be adding lashes. So, yeah. Be careful with this liner, y'all, because if you mess up, this stuff do not come off. Like, girl, it don't come off. Like, it won't come off. So you're just gonna have to restart completely if you mess up. Like, I'm literally letting you know, like, don't play with this. After that, I'm gonna take some mascara. I'm using the Hypnos Doll Lashes from Lancome. And I'm just gonna run this through my lashes. So now we are going to apply some lashes. The lashes that I'm applying, I ordered on Amazon. I will have the link down below for you guys. However, I want to let you guys know that you do not know what lashes you're gonna get. Trust me. They send whatever the hell they feel like sending. You do not know. I picked one specific style and I got like 10 different styles. So just know if you do order these lashes, you don't really know what you're gonna get. So I'm just letting everyone know because everyone asks me where'd you get the lashes? And I don't like saying because I don't want you to think you're gonna get the same ones as me because you really don't know. So yeah, um, I think I wanna put this pair on, but they're just so fluffy. Like these are just like, really like over the top like really over the top but I like like them like I like the style should I say but they're just a little too thick in certain areas maybe if I like pull them apart okay so I've got my lashes on um I ended up changing them to a different pair still from the same Amazon link like I said they sent me a bunch of different styles when I ordered one style but regardless um, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our skin. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime, are my primers up here? I'm all over the place. I'm gonna go ahead and start priming with the Fenty primer first. This is the hydrating one, not the mattifying. Um, obviously use whichever one you see fit best for your skin, but I truly believe that this hydrating primer is best for everyone. It just has such a silky, it just, Girl, just try it. It makes your skin bomb. Get a sample from Sephora or Ult oh, only Sephora because Ulta doesn't carry Fenty. But you know what I mean. I'm double priming today because I find that it makes my skin just look so good. This new routine that I've been doing, I've just been uh, loving. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Now you guys know, I tried this when it first came out, right? And I was like, girl, this is not worth 60 however much this primer is right and i've had it ever since and i haven't really been using it that much but i've started using it recently and um my opinion has changed 
I love this primer. I love the way it makes my skin look in combination with another primer. I always do like a Fenty hydrating, some type of like hydrating primer. And then I put this all over and I just feel like my skin just looks so smooth. Now, uh, there is a dupe for this by e.l.f. Everyone says it is exactly the same. It's the e.l.f. Putty Primer. Um, I'll pick that up eventually so I can use that as well and let you guys know if I feel like they're comparable. But everyone says that it's literally a dupe. So I would, if you're not in the market to spend 60 bucks, even though the VIB sale is going on, I think it's still going on. Um, you know, definitely try that e.l.f. one. Now for foundation, I'm gonna be using more Fenty. You know, I really think I'm gonna do a full face of Fenty Beauty. Let me know what you guys think about that. Basically full face except for lip liner. Sorry, my eyelash is like glued to the bottom. So I'm using the um, Fenty Hydrating Pro Filter Foundation. I have shades 310 and 330 that I'm gonna be mixing. Mostly 310 though. Um, I'm only putting a little 330 in because I did do that self tanner for my last vlog that you guys seen. So it does have me a little bronzer, just a little bit. So now I'm just dropping, dropping, dropping. Now, normally we'd be using sponges, but I have, you know, gotten back into using brushes for my face makeup. It has just made such a difference. Like, I don't know, it just looks so good. So this is a Carity F26 brush. However, Morphe makes a brush exactly like this because I think the Carity one might be hard for you guys to get your hands on. Um, the Morphe one is a Morphe M439 brush. So both extremely comparable, literally the same. And I think this one might be cheaper too. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm kind of like dabbing, almost like what you would do with a beauty blender or a sponge. And then I'm going to, I'm kind of like dragging at the same time though. So dabbing and dragging, you don't wanna swirl or go upward because you have hair on your face and um, you don't wanna push that hair upward. Um, so going in downward motion is going to keep your little peach fuzz on your face down which is going to make your skin look smoother in turn um obviously if you're someone who like micro what is it that everyone's doing um shaving their face i'm not going to do it because i've had it done professionally but i'm not going to do it myself because i just hear like you will break out like you can literally ruin your skin from it and i'm not taking chances so again same technique here and i'm just going to blend this all out trying to avoid my little swoopy swoops on my face. <laughs> Foundation is all on, it's pretty thick, I'm not gonna lie to you, we got a pretty full coverage going on there. Obviously put on as much or as little as you like. I'm gonna be using the Fenty um, concealer, this is in the shade 260, um, and I'm gonna obviously put this everywhere that I would normally highlight, which is my chin, my nose, a tad bit on the forehead, and then under the eyes. I like to let my concealer sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, um, just a little bit so that it can get a little thicker. All right, now that I felt like it's set enough, I'm gonna take the brush that I'm using to blend out my concealer. This is from Makeup Shack. It is a T31 brush. Sephora Collection actually just came out with a brush very, very similar. I think they call it a concealer brush as well or a bronzer brush or something. Uh, actually, it's a foundation brush. It's their pro foundation brush, but it looks like this, but this will be exactly the same. I'll use these in a future video, but I'm just using my dirty ones now until you know they're like, okay, now you don't wanna use these dirty ones anymore. <laughs> So that way I don't have like a million bajillion dirty brushes like I did last time. So taking this brush and um, blending this out. So how I do this is I'm tapping and dragging kind of the same way that I blended out the foundation. Um, tapping and dragging. So now on the forehead, mostly just tapping and then maybe expanding it just a little past the very center like that. And then the same with under the eye, tapping and dragging. And you just get such a fuller coverage when using brushes. If you're someone who cares about a very full coverage, you just get so much coverage when using brushes. Um, you know, your sponge is gonna dilute your product just a little bit more. So if you're someone who is looking for a more natural finish or just, you know, not as much coverage, definitely aim for a sponge. If you are someone who likes a super full coverage, brunge it, brunges. <laughs> brushes are definitely probably gonna be 
um, more your style or up your alley as far as blending out your makeup goes. Taking my foundation brush and just kind of going over the edges where the concealer is meeting the rest of the face. They kind of put a little too much. I'm not even gonna flex you. I'm not even gonna flex with you. And then just blending this out too. Then I'm gonna do cream contour. I would be using the Fenty ones, but I ordered some and they haven't gotten here yet. And then the ones that Fenty sent me are not your girl's color. So I'm gonna be using a different product to cream bronze or contour. Um, like I said, I have a very structured face, so contour really isn't up my alley. I'm much more of a warmth to bring back warmth to the face because I don't really need to emphasize my features. They are there, okay? They're not going nowhere, there's no, it just is what it is. So I prefer to just use much more like a bronzer kind of a thing rather than a contour. So I'm using the, um, Jouer Essential High Coverage Pen. This is in the shade Amber, and this is a perfect bronzer shade for me. So I'm gonna start with the forehead, and I just kind of rub it here and here like this, a little bit across the top. Then I'm taking the e.l.f. Foundation Blurring Brush, and I'm just gonna, again, the same tapping and dragging motion. It's almost like a this, but very quickly. Do you guys, can you guys see that motion? And that is just gonna get this into your skin so beautifully and blend and blur very nicely. This product is very pigmented, but not too much. So it creates a very nice um, a bronzing effect and it just goes into the skin really, really nice. So I'm trying to get it as close into my hairline as possible without jacking my hair all the way up. <laughs> just a little bit like that. I don't wanna pull it too far down because you're gonna blend it that way. So I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see me blend this. So again, I'm like tapping and dragging. I'm sure you guys can see the motion that's being done here. And when you're doing it with your cheeks, you wanna blend it upward. You never wanna drag it down because that's gonna make your contour, your bronzer look so muddy. And you wanna keep your cheekbones high and up, you know? So. So I don't cream contour or cream bronze my nose. It is just, I feel like it's just too much product on such a small area. It gets really messy to me and I don't like that um, that much of a contour on my nose anyway. So I don't use that there. Oh, I didn't do my chin though. I do definitely put it on my chin, girl. I got a big old chin. So I like to, um, yeah, minimize it. I love my chin, girl. You can only minimize this big old thing so much, but you know. Now I'm gonna go into blush. I did like a cream blush from Fenty. I have the shade, oh, where is it, where is it? Uh, it's in the shade Rose Rose Latte. It looks like this, oop, right here. Now y'all, these are very small. Like, as you can see, they are very tiny. You don't need much though, but, oh no girl. So I'm using another e.l.f. Um, foundation buffing brush, buffing foundation brush, um, and I'm just dipping it straight into the product lightly and then hitting the cheeks with the same dabby draggy motion, okay? So I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see. I like a lot of blush, so I'm gonna be building this up quite a lot. But if you're not a big blusher person, one to, oops, my bad. One layer, one to two layers should be plenty. This is my second layer, but I kind of picked up a lot more product on this one, but you can see that, that blush, like, oh, it is so pretty. Oh my God, this blush, I need them to make this in a powder because I just love this color. Now we can move on to setting the face finally because we are very shiny. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my Huda Beauty Banana Bread Powder. You can use whatever shade obviously is best suited for your skin tone. Um, and I am gonna be using a sponge to set my face down first. So this is the Fenty sponge. It is dry though. So I'm just gonna press out any creases that are under my eye. And then I'm gonna take it into the sponge or into the powder, and then set this entire area all down, right here. And you guys see how that just, oh, look at the blur that that just, girl. Miss Huda motherfucking booty. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side, again, pressing out, and then kind of creasing. The creasing is gonna come back, but you know, you don't wanna like set your powder just like in those creases like that. Doing my chin right here above my lip, nose and forehead. 
Now, as you can see, this is still kind of tacky in this area over here where we did all the cream blush and bronzers. So I'm going to be taking my face powder from Too Faced. This is in the shade Latte. And I'm gonna go into this with a powder brush. This is also from e.l.f. It's the Flawless Face Brush. I'm gonna tap into there and I am going to set down all the rest of my face. You want to set these creams down because if you do not, when you try to go in with powder, like your powdered bronzer over the top, it is just going to stick and it is going to be a sticky, muddy, ugly mess, okay? So you don't have to use a face powder, you can use a translucent powder, which would probably be better, um, but whatever you have will work. Next is to go back in, in with just a little bit of powder bronzer. Now, as you can see, you can still see the bronzing from before. You don't have to do as much. So I'm using Beijing Gal from Fenty. And this is on a jacked up Morphe M509 brush. Like, girl, look at that brush. She been through it, but girl, I love her. I love me some of these brush. So I'm just bronzing, okay. Then I'm gonna do my nose. I just use this Huda Beauty double ended brush. This is the Eyes Build and Blend. I use this side to lay the bronzer down. So I drag a line down the side, a line down the other side. Okay. And then I take the other side and just blend them out so that they are, you know, not so harsh. You don't want your nose contour to be like, er, you want it to be. Mm, okay, that's cute, girl, that's cute. Then you just wanna add a little bit of powder blush, you know, just to give it a little, little pop, a little pop, a little mm. So I'm going into the Morphe blush palette. It doesn't have a name on it, so I'm not sure, but it looks like this. And I'm gonna be going into the shades Amy Way and Witty. Those are the two I'm gonna kind of mix. It's kind of a very similar shade to the cream one that we applied. Um, and I'm using a brush a very similar to what we used to blend our bronzer out with, except this is it not all jacked up. <laughs> So this is a Morphe M30, M M530. It's a little bit different, but essentially they're like the same brush. And I'm just gonna hit the cheeks and drag it back very softly. Now I have not been wearing highlighter, so I'm not putting any highlighter on. And I know that's crazy because everyone be wearing highlighter, but I'm not putting none on, girl. So now going back up to the eyes, I'm gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette into this color G Money, and I'm gonna drag that just a little bit under the eye. Um, I'm gonna do my inner corner flicks uh, using the Huda liner, if I can find it. Vanity, like y'all, in the midst of doing my makeup, everything just be getting so blurred together. I'm like, what is going on? Boom, and I'm gonna do the little inner corner. Then I'm gonna do mascara on the bottom lashes. I haven't put mascara on my bottom lashes. Oh. I keep dropping everything. I haven't done mascara on my bottom lashes in a minute. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I can move on to lips. I'm gonna use this lip liner from uh, ColourPop. This is in the shade 951. And I'm just gonna lightly line my lips. Then I'm taking a MAC lipstick in the shade Stripped. And I'm gonna put this pretty much all over my lip to kind of mute out the liner. And then I do this thing where I take a paper towel and kind of rub all of it off. I know, it's weird. And I just kind of like repeat the process of putting lipstick on, rubbing it off, putting lipstick on, rubbing it off, don't ask. Okay, until I get something that kind of looks like this, and then that is it for the makeup. So back up to our hair, I'm gonna go ahead and take my scarf off my hair is still a little damp so i have to blow dry it because it can't i know this looks crazy but just bear with me so but before i go and blow dry it we can um redo our baby hairs and like the front a little bit more and you can use edge control if you want i try not to because edge control really isn't good for your edges um or for your hair in general should i say so i try to like not use edge control as much as i can you can but I just try to stay away from it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go blow dry my hair and then come back and show you guys what um, I do to get it to look 
not like this. Okay, so it literally took me like five seconds to blow dry my hair because I have none. So as you guys can see, it is very slick down. If you like that look, you can totally keep it, but I don't like it too slick. So what I do is I take my fingers and I just kind of like scratch it basically, which is just kind of fluffing the hair up a little bit. So I'm, yeah, I'm literally just like fluffing my hair just a little bit so it has some texture and some body to it because I just don't like it like flat, like flat as a dog. I don't, I don't care for that. Um, I don't know where I got that saying flat as a dog. Is that a thing? Anyways. So my only issue with this style is like this part, like right here. I just don't know what to do with it. I just don't know. But this is still like super cute to me. It's the only way I know how to style it right now. And it's not, I don't even know if you would really call it a style, but. So yeah, I kind of just play with it. So it's like a little like messy and like, but still very together, but not super duper slick to my head. Um, as time goes on, it kind of rises a little bit. Um, so obviously I just styled it, so it's super duper slick, but it does kind of, um, it will expand. You guys know, if you have curly hair, then you know, like your hair starts out very flat and like as the day goes on, it gets bigger. So it still does that even with it being short, especially since I don't put any gel in it. So probably in like two to three hours, it'll probably be like at its prime. But yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys a full 360. I have no idea what the back looks like. So if it ain't cute in the back, don't judge me. I don't know, girl, I don't know, but I'm gonna just spin around. Mm -hmm. I can't spin all the way because I'm too close to my desk, but I'm gonna give y'all both sides. Yeah, this is the hair for the most part. Um, you can make it as messy or, you know, with your own hair, if you have short hair, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, what I'm gonna do now is go put on the outfit. We are gonna put on a super sexy, elegant dress because you know, why, why not? All right, cause we are gonna be bald and fine and sexy. So I'm going to go get dressed and show you guys the outfit and then we will come back and yeah. Alrighty you guys, so I'm dressed and I feel so sexy and feminine and beautiful. So I just put on this bodycon bandage dress. This is from House of CB. I'm going to put my bag down. Um, this is from House of CB. You guys seen this in my Me versus the Model for House of CB. If you haven't seen that video, I'll try to link it on the screen. If not, just scroll back a few videos. You'll see it. Um, so yeah, I just put this dress on because it is just so elegant and sexy. It has nothing showing, yet you just look so sexy. It's flattering. It's very nice. It's tasteful. And I just felt like it suited the hair so well. Like, well, my hair. <laughs> So, yeah, I just have this dress on. I have these shoes from Pretty Little Thing on. They, you guys, these are a killer to walk in, okay? I don't know what is so difficult about them because the heel is high, but it's not... It's a pretty high heel. Who am I kidding? Like, look at my foot. But these are such sexy shoes. It is insane to me how sexy they are. And they're so cheap, like, to keep it a buck. I hope I can find the link so you guys can see them. Um, mine are just a tad too small. I definitely could have gone about a half a size bigger, but it's okay. I haven't worn them out. I've actually only worn them, like, in the house. So, but yeah, I love the pointed toe in the front, um, but your feet are not, your toes are not slipping off the sides, <laughs> and they have the clear straps. So as for accessories, I just put on these um, little gold hoops. I have this gold, oh, actually this is silver. Yikes, not mixing metals. Anyways, and then I just was carrying my little Scott box from Louis Vuitton. And I tied it with my black and white ribbon because I felt like it went better. So yeah, this is the outfit. And it just makes me feel so sexy. Like, I feel so pretty. Truly, which is good because I told you guys I have a hard time with that with my short hair. So <laughs> this definitely brings that back out. Um, I definitely have to get a photo in this. So I'm going to turn around so you guys can see the bag. It makes my butt look huge because it's literally so freaking tight. Um, so yeah, this is the outfit. We cute or whatever. Alrighty, you guys, so that is it for this full get ready with me with my natural hair. And you know, just 
what I do when I'm wearing my natural hair to just kind of make me feel more feminine and beautiful because women like we put a lot of dependency on our hair to feel like women and beautiful and this and like your hair doesn't make you you know what i mean even though like don't get me wrong i ain't keeping my hair short all right I'm, I'm trying to grow it out but in the meantime like i'm just as beautiful as i was before as i am after whatever like it's all the same you know what i mean so I just wanted to come on and do a full get ready with me with my short hair because so many of you guys have wrote me and said that I made you feel more comfortable in your short hair or whatever the case may be and it just like really touched me because I really didn't plan y'all know when I first shaved my head I told you I was like I do not plan on wearing this like short I'm, it's gonna be under wigs you will not see it but I just felt like I might as well embrace it it's me it's mine you know what I mean and yeah, like even though I'm being very transparent with you guys, I'm not the most comfortable with my short hair. It's just a fact I'm, I'm working on it. It'll get better. We all, everyone has an insecurity. Everyone doesn't feel as confident with some, you know what I mean? And this is just me being honest. Like, as and you guys think I'm so confident, which I agree, I am very confident, but I do have my moments too. So I felt like this was a great video to do. I mean, it's just a regular video, like I always do, but it's special to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, all the links to everything that I have will be down below for you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Follow me on Instagram, like this video, and watch another video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.